just policing the police every single day. And doing what the Charlotte County Sun newspaper and local TV stations won't do every single day. Hey, Shire County, this is Shire County Cop Watch, and uh, we got to do a story on this uh, before I play it, uh, because what do you know, this is why it's worth uh, doing <clears throat> Cop Watch and exposing the corruption, um, uh, the uh, Charlotte County uh, Jail uh, finally might do the right thing, and they also lied multiple times, as you see in the uh, uh, thing, he has told the uh, press and the uh, news reporters here about the... Uh, the prisoners here, you know, a ton of them in there are in there for victimless crimes. Uh, no victim, no crime. And he keeps telling them that, yes, we stop personal visits with the uh, with the prisoners and they can only have video interviews. That's fucking bullshit that's been going on forever. Sheriff County Sheriff is a goddamn motherfucking liar. All right. He's also a felon. Uh, Sheriff Bill Permel had a legal list of gun owners. Uh, it's a third degree felony, $5 million fine. And he's committing misdemeanors violating sunshine law constantly while we're trying to undercover uh his uh corruption uh also too he is he said he is supposedly trying to let people go he's asking the court i just found out sheriff has the power to release on his own does not need the court sheriff has the power himself so that's a fucking lie too i'm asking the courts if i can fuck you you motherfucking lying bitch uh, here is the good news. Um, I, I did see one of the sheriff deputies today who apparently doesn't know who I am. And uh, he did say that uh, supposedly the sheriff has told him to mellow down, stand down, don't give out as many tickets or arrest. That's shocking. Uh, on the uh, the website uh, for the sheriff, it is down to, five, I think, four arrests. Uh, when I think there were 16 and above per day before that, so that's not bad. There's still some in there for victimless crimes, but uh, it took a week, over a week of me, uh, the uh, the newspaper here, and this is a motherfucking lying ass bitch. Uh, but uh, he is finally, and uh, who is this? NBC2 went there and confronted them, and they're telling half truths and more lies than truths. So, anyways, that is your update for the day. Uh, Charlotte County Sheriff is a goddamn fucking felon, motherfucking liar, and he's still keeping people in jail for victimless crimes, giving them a possible death sentence. I hope they sue him to hell, and he gets karma and burns in hell for this high treason and tyranny. Remember when our founding father said, take a goddamn country back, and you're a frog in a pot, the water is gone, get the hell out and fight. You're hearing a lot about stopping the spread of coronavirus in your everyday life. But what are our local officials doing to combat COVID-19 behind bars? New at 11, NBC2's Joseph Ojo explains how inmates are being kept safe for the pandemic now and when they're released. Here at the Charlotte County Jail Center, once an inmate walks in, they are quarantined and monitored before being placed with other inmates inside the jail. I spoke with one inmate who recently bonded out. He told me that staff has been doing their part to educate them on the coronavirus. And he says that staff has been cleaning everything in sight. It'll pass through here less harmful than it will in other places. As the number of coronavirus cases in Florida continues to climb, a temporary lockdown has been put in place at the Charlotte County Jail. No contact with inmates is allowed, and if you are visiting, get used to talking through a screen for the foreseeable future. As we are being extremely aggressive and leaning forward. New inmates must now go through several screening questions to find out if they have been infected. They're also wearing gloves and masks at, at intake. They are also quarantined and monitored before they can join other inmates. We are doing our absolute best to make sure that the population is protected and our detainees don't get something from the outside. I spoke with a man who bonded out recently. He tells me staff here has been disinfecting everything. There was a lot of cleaning going on. And inmates are also being educated on the virus. Coronavirus lasts longer on stainless steel and plastic. To prevent large crowds in the jail, Sheriff Bill Pramel has met with the court system. We are taking every step available to make sure that we are ahead of this. The sheriff will also be working with the court system to review some cases to see if any inmates could be released early with certain conditions. Those details haven't been ironed out yet. Jail doesn't necessarily 
always work for folks. The goal, fewer people locked up should an outbreak happen behind the jail's walls. Some of us were probably hoping to get out a little early too here because some people don't have anything violent in there that they're in there for. Joseph Ojo, NBC2. Hey, Sheriff County, this is Sheriff County Cop Watch. I am using any video here with under fair use. If you uh, have criticism, reporting, teaching, etc., and please donate. I do not make money from YouTube, and uh, there are different ways to donate in the uh, video links. Thanks.